Hello again, everyone. Marcus here. I review stuff. Today, I'm reviewing the song Heroine by Suede. Uh, the song does come as a request, so as always, if you would like to request something, leave it in the comments, and I'll be sure to get to it. I don't think I've ever heard anything from Suede. I don't think I have. I have to think about that, actually. No, I heard something from uh, Morrissey called Suede Hit. That's, I think, what I'm thinking of. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard anything from the band Suede, though. So going in blind, hoping for something good. Here we go. I almost went with the live version, and I'm sure some of you in the comments will probably tell me that I should have gone with it. I thought about it, but you know, being my first uh, sort of interaction with this with this artist, I figured I would just go with with uh, you know a studio recording. Oh, I have heard Suede. I heard So Young. It was fine. It was fine. So uh, let's see. That was that was good. You know, it, it's funny. I I remember listening to So Young, and I can see it shows me that I listened to it here. And you know, it was fine. It was fine. But I, it's not a song I ever really came back to or had any interest in really listening to much again. I will say this song to me uh, is is a little bit stronger. It's it's a song that I actually can see myself listening to again. It's a song I can see myself adding to my playlist. Whereas for So Young, the one time I I reacted to it on the channel, that's that's the only time I've ever really listened to it. So. Uh, I like this one a lot, though, so I'm ready to break it down. 
talk about the lyrics. So, interesting uh, phrase here, and I kind of had an idea that they were going to go for this, but so they use the word uh, like heroin, uh, and, and the thing with English is it's kind of pronounced the same. I tried to pronounce it differently at the beginning of the, of the video because it really is like a different word. Uh, heroin is the drug, and like this, the way you say this word, it would be like female hero. So it's like heroine, but it's it's pronounced heroin as well. Uh, it's really, really weird, but I'm pretty sure they, they substitute this word for heroin, the drug, in this, in this song. That's what I really got from my first listen here. So let's see. Uh, the song bio is unreviewed. The song seems to be about the power of sexual bloom of youth and the youthful desire quenched by pornography. It is especially potent when mixed with higher sensitivity as expressed and experienced by the typical eye. The by Byronic reference sets a lofty tone to a rather seedy subject matter pornography. The young man's expressions are a mixture of the sacred and the profane. Uh, almost. Interesting. All right, it did say that this is an unreviewed bio, so um, a lot of information here. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. So this person seems to think about it's about you know young sexuality and and uh, pornography. So I guess we'll see. So verse one, she walks in beauty like the night, discarding her clothes in the plastic flowers, pornographic and tragic in black and white. My Marilyn, come to my slum for an hour. Okay. I can see that, like Marilyn Monroe, you know, your Playboy issue, that kind of thing. Yeah, looking at porn, I see that now, okay. I'm aching to see my heroine. I'm aching, been dying for hours and hours. See, the way I originally w read that chorus was it's like he's going to be having withdrawals from the drug, uh, the actual, like, heroin, uh, and that he's using this word here uh, to sort of... Um, uh, replace the actual drug heroin because you know when 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 you're looking for your fix, yeah, you could say that you're probably aching, uh, and dying for hours and hours until you get it. I guess uh, based on verse one though, I can see how it would be about again just uh, sexuality and wanting to be able to look at at porn and stuff like that. So interesting. Okay, she walks in the beauty of a magazine, complicating the boys in the office towers. Raffaella Ordella, the silent dream. My Marilyn, come to my slum for an hour I'm aching to see my heroine I'm aching been dying for hours and hours been dying for hours and hours she walks in beauty like the night hypnotizing this uh, the silence with her powers Armageddon is betting is betting this picture all right miss uh, my Marilyn come to slum f for an hour I'm aching to see my heroine. I'm aching, been dying for hours and hours. I'm 18 and I need my heroines. Uh, I'm aching, been dying for hours and nobody knows. Hmm. Again, I still I, I, there's part of me that still reads it as as, as drug use, but I definitely see uh, the connection with sexuality and, and and looking and wanting to look at porn. You know, uh, interesting stuff. I'm never alone now because I'm with her, with her, with her, and nobody knows. I'm never alone now because I'm with her, with her, with her, and nobody knows. I'm never alone now because I'm with her, with her, with her. Cool. You know, I, I think regardless of how you read it, it's kind of an interesting song lyrically. Uh, I give it two thumbs up. As far as the instrumentation goes, there's actually a lot to enjoy here. Let me look at who was uh, guitar. Bernard Butler really enjoyed a lot of the guitar work in this song. Drums and bass were fine for Matt Osmond and Simon Gilbert. And the vocals by Brent Anderson, I thought, were, were really solid here. It sort of had that sort of sweet love sounding song to it, but when you when you actually you know read the lyrics, it's it's eh, not quite right. So uh, I like the guitar work, like the vocals. I thought it was good. Two thumbs up. And then as far as replay value goes, you know. I liked the song. I kind of want it on my playlist. Is it going to be a song I listen to all the time? Probably not. It just doesn't have enough for me to really grab onto and really enjoy uh, between the lyrics, the vocals, you know, the instrumentation. Although I, I think all that is really solid. It's just not one of those songs that really captured my imagination. If you want to see a song like that that did, go back and look at Unnatural Selection by Muse. That song really, I was like, yeah, that's an instant playlist. There's so much here for me to enjoy. For this song, it was good, but there, to me, there's just not a lot lot for me to just be like, ah, I want to go back and listen to that song for this reason. So not a whole lot of concrete stuff for me to grab onto here, but I still like the song. I still want it on my playlist, and every now and then when it comes up, I think I'll, I'll still listen to it. So I'll give it one thumb up for replay value. Overall, a very good song uh, and a very good request. You know, I wasn't sure what to think about Suede after listening to So Young. I thought it was a fine song, but it just it, it didn't really capture me. This one hasn't really captured me fully, although I do like this one a little bit more. 
Um, so give me some more from this band. Maybe I just have to kind of get a taste for them. That does happen from time to time with bands. So uh, give me some more recommendations in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed the music, go support the artists. You know, go listen to their music wherever you can. One place you should be able to find this song and the other one I've listened to by them is going to be in my Spotify playlist. It's in the description below and it has every single song I've heard so far on my channel. Of course, if you want to support me, just all the normal stuff you do on YouTube, you know, like and subscribe and comment. All right, guys, that's going to be it. I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye for now.